I heard about your uncle. I wanted to pay my respects. Oh, thank you. How is everyone? In shock. You know, first to find out that he wasn't who we thought he was, and now. Right. So sorry. And there's probably nothing I can do for your family. It was nice of you to come over and say so, though. I have a confession to make, Jess. Yeah, I came by to give you my condolences, but that's not the only reason I'm here. So you really thought about going back to your old name? I did. And then I came to my senses. I don't know. I kind of like Christine. But then, what does a name matter to a con artist? I'm not going to be a con artist anymore. And Cutter and I are going to be a real couple. We're starting fresh. I have to admit, it reminds me of the real Aubrey Wentworth. And what she did. Aubrey, I can't believe you're here. FYI, I go by Kim Andrews now. But I'll always be Aubrey Wentworth to my big brother, Cutter. Oh, we're sure it's okay to come back. Yeah, I talked to the police. They said all the evidence has been collected, so... Danny, you know what I forgot? Oh, my God. No. Don't, don't look. Don't look, Danny. Just don't look, okay? Okay? Jack, you need to go upstairs and lie down. Why? It's like the middle of the afternoon. The doctor said you need to take it easy. That's why. The doctor just gave Mom pain pillars if you need one. The only thing I need right now is to know if Scarface is behind bars for killing my father. There you go, after you. Hey, for what it's worth, you did the right thing coming in. The boys in blue were looking for me. We heard you were running around with a gun. This one Victor ended up dead, um... Well, hey, what do you say we cut to the chase? That'd be great. Let's do that. Did you kill him? I can't believe you're here. How long's it been, Aubrey? Long enough that I've gotten used to being called Kim, so why don't we just stick with that? Okay. Okay? Kim. No. That's weird. Come on. Oh, come on. It'll grow on you. Trust me. I... What, what, what are you doing here? No, you first. What are you doing here? I read somewhere you were trying to go after the Buchanan box? Or... Yeah, I was. I did. I got them. A lot of them. Free and clear. Um, so what happened? I spent them. On what? The Buchanan Master Bathroom. It's really nice now. It's all gold leaf. It's, uh... I didn't know I'd get kicked out. Okay, so why'd you pick the Minuteman? It's the only place I can afford right now. <sighs> I'm currently going straight. Oh, come on! You're serious. What about you? You said you read something about me? Funny story. So, I was in the mood for a little gossip, so I curled up with my favorite magazine, and guess who I see on the red carpet at the Vicar Man premiere? My own brother being bounced out on his butt with that cheesy blonde who stole my identity. I've never met the real Aubrey Wentworth, you know. Calls herself lucky. Cutter never talked about her. But he did seem pretty sure that she wouldn't want her name back. Apparently she couldn't wait to go off and reinvent herself. Did he tell you why? No, that's why I'm asking you. You two were roommates back in the old Ecole Madame Laurent days, right? Yes, unfortunately. Okay, two questions. How could you stand going to a school with a name like that? And two, how could you afford it? I was on scholarship. And so was Aubrey. I guess that's one of the reasons we were thrown together. And the other reasons were... Well, let's just say we didn't look like the other girls. I was the token minority and she was... What? Aubrey was what? You've seen her picture in the yearbook. Let's just say the term ugly duckling is kind. You want to tell me how you were planning on explaining this? 
Yeah, I gotta admit, when I first saw that photo, all I could think was, I guess Cutter got all the looks in the family. Yeah, and that really bothered Aubrey. She couldn't bear to look at herself in the mirror. All she could talk about was how one day she would go to a plastic surgeon and get it all done. Her nose, her chin, her body. And presto, the ugly duckling would turn into a swan. Why don't you grab a seat? Can I get you something to drink? No, I'm good. Thanks. <clears throat> so, you said you came over for another reason? <sighs> right. Um... <clears throat> Well, now that I'm here, I feel kind of awkward bringing it up with everything you're going through. You know what I'd love? I'd love to talk about something that isn't sad. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... So I have this friend that's been giving me advice. About what? Well, she wants to help people make connections. Connections? Well, you know how it is nowadays. So many ways to meet people, but sometimes it's like the wrong people end up together. Wait. Are you talking about Ford? Why would the police just leave that there? They should have told us. <laughs> Sweetheart. How about we go back to the palace? Okay, just, no. just for no. a few days? No, Mom, no! I need to... I need to be here with Dad's things, okay? This... This was the last place that I... Saw. Son. Oh. Why did I have to go out last night? <sighs> Honey, thank God you did. Otherwise, you might uh, you might have got caught up in this. I could have come home and found you both. Oh God, come here, come here. It must have been so horrible finding him. He said he was still alive. Yeah. Barely. What did, did he say anything? I think I think he was trying to tell me who killed him. Come on, now, the police are still investigating. They have to have something to go on before Give they just make a break. arrest. Scarface had a gun. Everyone uh, knows he wanted Dad Scarface dead. Scarface is our dad. He is the real Todd Manning. He is our father, whether you like it or not. Someone else wanted Victor dead, and they tried to kill him before. Do you remember that? When he was in the hospital, we didn't know whether he was going to wake up. That had nothing to do with our father. Sarah, don't get upset. And if you want to reject him, that's fine. Okay, no one can force you to love him, but do not accuse him of murdering someone just because you want it to be true. I can't believe you are defending this jerk. You, You're on my side, right? You totally think he did it. I never said that, You Dad. don't have to. The minute you found out he took the gun, you freaked. It doesn't mean I know what really yeah, happened, it though. it does. You just don't want to tell Star, because it'll hurt her little feelings. Jack, that's... Is that true? Mom, you didn't answer me when I asked you if you thought that Dad shot Victor. Answer me now. What if I give you an answer that you don't want to hear? Do I still get to leave? Well, you know, you probably need to give me an answer first. Did you kill your brother? Victor Lord Jr. and I shared DNA, but he was no brother of mine. Okay, fine. He's no brother of yours. Um, what do you say we start with an easy one? Did you steal the gun from Dorian Lord's safe? Well, I wouldn't call it stealing. Is that a yes? I borrowed the gun. Excellent. All right, now we're getting somewhere. This gun that you borrowed was your intention to use it on your brother, Victor. Dad told you who killed him. I asked him if he knew who had done this to him. And it looked like he was trying to say something. Um, I, I'm not sure. He, he tried, but, but, uh, but he couldn't. So he didn't say anything? Well, I thought he... Uh, I, you know, I could have just imagined it. Why? What do you think he said? It's, it sounded like he was trying to say a word. 
a word that began with the letter T. I'm not trying to dodge your question here. Then why do you keep doing it? Because what I think doesn't matter, Star. It doesn't matter. What matters are the facts. Facts, you guys. The police are going to get the facts. They're going to find who's responsible, and then the person is going to be punished for what they did. But please, in the meantime, can we all just try to help each other through this? I don't want to fight with Jack. I don't want to fight with you. Whatever. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to tell Hope. Victor was the only grandfather that she has ever known. I don't know what I'm going to tell Sam. Got the news so late, I, I didn't want to wake him up to tell him. I probably going to be the hardest on him because Victor was his real father. He was my real father, too. I, I don't what? care what you say. Why this other guy even have to come back? Because he missed us and he fought his way back to us. I don't care. He's the one who should be dead. Hey, look, Manny, I don't, I don't got a lot of time, all right? Did you plan on using the gun on Victor or not? Son of a bitch stole my life. All right, so you planned on using it on him? Yes. Yes. No, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. You got to pick one. I wanted my life back. I know that he wasn't just going to give it to me, so I thought I could make him. With a gun? Yes, with a gun. I'm glad you're here. Me too. There's a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, lots changed since the spotted pony. I'm trying not to think about that place. I kind of have to. I'm back dancing there again. With the pony? No way. Way. Oh, Kim. Why would you go back there? You you shouldn't go to that place. Whoa, relax. No one who's there remembers anything. Yes, no, no, they don't now. But what if someone starts digging? So you and Aubrey both felt like outsiders at this snobby boarding school. That creates a pretty strong bond, right? At first, yes. But obviously something happened. Tell me, Rama, what did she do? She disappeared. With all the money that I saved from working before class, after class, any time I could spare, it was my money. It was for my future. And Aubrey Wentworth stole oh it away. Oh my god, she was supposed to be your friend. Yes, that's why I was so angry. I vowed that I would find her. I promised myself that I would not stop until I found that little bitch. You promised you would find that little bitch, and you did. Where? In the state of Kentucky. At a place called the Spotted Pony. The Spotted Pony? You've heard of it? Ford. Why would you think I was talking about him? Well, we worked something out because of Ryder, but, um, you know, now we're not seeing each other anymore. I'm not sure I understand. It's a Tess thing. You know, every time he sees me, it reminds him of Tess, and it... It, it doesn't work. Um, but he needs to still see Ryder, so it's hard not to run into each other when he's picking the baby up and dropping him off. Isn't that why he sent you? Ford didn't send me here. He didn't. We're actually not really friends anymore, Jess. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought that he asked you to come and get Ryder as a favor. This isn't about you and Ford. It's about you and me. What about you and me? But when I was talking to Rama, your name came up. Rama? The friend I was telling you about, Rama Patel. Vimal's wife, but why would she be talking about me? She barely even knows me. Actually, we were talking about happiness. Rama finally found hers, and now she wants me to find mine. I think I need to explain myself better. That would be nice. Rama thinks that I need to take a chance, make a move. And she thinks that I should do that by reconnecting with my first love, which is you. When I said Spotted Pony, you looked like you'd heard that name before. Yeah, well, Cutter and I heard Rex Balsam talking about it, and then Cutter got all weird. Did he tell you why? Well, he tried to blow it off, but now that I know you tracked his sister down there, well, I guess Cutter neglected to tell you that part. Yeah. I wonder why. There's this guy, Rex Balsam. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, I know him all right. He already showed up. You didn't tell him anything, did you? 
about what happened? What do you think, I'm psycho? No, but not on purpose. Look, I meant, I like, did you tell him anything I on accident? I don't want to go to jail any more than you do, okay? So give me some credit. A little sensitive, aren't we? <sighs> some things are just meant to take to the grave cutter. And for you and me both, it's a spotted pony. No one can ever know about what we did. Yeah, except someone already does. What are you talking about? Remember your friend from school, Rama? The spotted pony is something I do not want to talk about. Why not? Rama, come on. What happened there? It's not your fault. It's not your fault that you don't know Dad the way that I do. We were so close when I was little. You have to understand that there are so many memories. So many that I held on to. So much that when he was gone, I... I always felt like there was something missing, Jack. And for me to have him back, you have no idea how much that means to me. You think I don't know what it means to have a father I loved? A father who loved me? The only difference is, mine's gone. And I'll never see him again. I, now whose fault I, is that? I, 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 Come on. Maybe you should give your brother a little space, okay? I loved him too, Jack. I have something to do anyway. You guys, we... We all have a lot of questions, and hopefully soon we'll get some answers. It had to be a name. It had to be a name. A, a name beginning with T. Sweetheart, it might have just been a random sound. He he was struggling to breathe. No, but, but, but it could have been. You said you asked who did this to him, yes? Honey. Well, maybe, maybe. Okay, do you think he was trying to say Todd? I'm not even sure he understood what I was asking him. And when he started coughing, I told him that it didn't matter. We were running out of time. He knew it. Oh. I tried everything I could think of to, um, to get him to hold on. I thought if I could remind him what he had to live for, all the plans we had, the things we still had to do together, but in the end, I just kept telling him that I, that I loved him over and over and over and over. I think I know what he was trying to say. He was trying to say to him. You thought you could force Victor to give you your life back. Now, what does that mean exactly? All right, let's, uh, let's try something else, all right? So you, you go over to Victor's house, you got the gun with you, right? You're ready to take back what you feel is rightfully yours. But when you get there, you, you see Jack at the door. So you knock the kid out, you pick up his keys, you, you let yourself into the house. You surprise Victor and the trigger goes off. How are we doing so far? Hey, you figured it all out. It's a great story, and it makes a lot of sense. The only problem is it's not true. Okay. All right, well, look, I'm open to another variation. So let, let's say you, you go over to Victor's, you, you have a little conversation. Of course, things get heated. There's a struggle. You wrestle for the gun, and it goes off by accident. None of the above. None of the above. All right, so what's the truth? Maybe, right? We're still talking maybe, maybe, maybe I did want to kill him. Maybe I even thought about how, but I didn't do it. Why not? Because of Blair. Because of Blair? Yes, because of Blair. Blair asked me, why would I throw my life away after waiting for so long to just get it back? I can't argue with that. Neither could I. And I thought about my kids. For whatever reason, they loved Victor. 
Jack would hate me if I if I'd killed him. I wouldn't do that to my son. Do what I'll go get you some water and then I'll get you one of those pills. Mom, I said I'm fine. Would you look at me, please? I'm not the enemy here. What can I say? What can I do to help you through all this? Can you go back in time? Make sure Scarface doesn't steal that gun out of the safe? Can you bring my dad back? Yeah. Didn't think so. Telling me you never went to Victor's house after you took the gun? Yes, John. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. Where'd you go? After Blair dropped me off at Lanfair, I felt like I wanted to go out, so I just kind of walked around. I went to Carlotta's diner, but had some kind of cantina now. Thought I'd grab a beer at the break bar, but that's gone too. Hmm. So where'd you go after that? Just around. It was just looking for some place that I recognized. Just walking around. All right. And you had the gun with you the whole time? Yeah. Where is it now? You have it. The spotted pony is not something I want to talk about. I just want to forget about it. Why? It was a dead end. I... I didn't find Kato Aubrey there. They'd already left. But they had both been there. Oh, yes. Yes, and I didn't stop looking. But I didn't see Carter again until I found him here, living with you. Did you ask him where the real Aubrey was? Of course. But he claimed that he had no idea where she was or what happened to her or what happened to my money. So you never saw Aubrey Wentworth again? No. And as far as I know, neither did Cutter. So, Rama marries Ramal Patel. I never thought that would happen. Why not? Her family is always pushing her to do it. She swore she'd never get an arranged marriage. She must have changed her mind, because her and the Mimster got hitched. <laughs> and they live here, Landview, Pennsylvania. Unbelievable. Yep. So, if I were you, I would trot your little whatever back to the spotted pony before she sees you. Are you kidding? That girl would have recognized me if she fell over me. Why not? She remembers the old Aubrey Wentworth. P.S. Yes. Pre-surgery. Thanks to a couple of nips and tucks, I don't look like that anymore. Yeah. And those nips and tucks cost a pretty penny. Remember? You stole from Rama to give her... Watch it. These features. And when she finds out who you really are underneath there, she's going to want her money back. Okay, fine. I'll pay her back in full. Just as soon as I remarry Clint. Sues you what? What, you think I dragged myself all the way back to Pennsylvania just to see my big brother? Clint Buchanan used to be my billion dollar baby. Yeah, I heard about that. You did? Y you think just because we don't see each other I don't keep tabs on you? Buchanan Wedding makes the papers. And I thought, hey, Buchanan, there's a way to go. So that's when Christine and I hitched her wagon on Clint's son, Joey. You thought it was just a coincidence? So, Rama convinced you that you have to reconnect with your first love, and then what's supposed to happen? Look, I know this is going to sound crazy, but Rama's ultimate goal is to fill a hole in my life. Like closure? You know, so you can move on. More like going back and seeing if something's still there. She's got a good point, though. I mean, you and I are both single now for the first time in years. So, um, what do we got to lose? Wow. I told you it was crazy. No, I mean, lots of people go back to try to recapture their past. And not, not everybody, though, tries so hard that they flip out and become teenager again. That wasn't your fault. That was post-traumatic stress. I just wanted to go back to a time where life was simple, you know, where you didn't have to work so hard at being happy. But my timing was bad. You were with Layla. I was. But I'm not now. And you're not a teenager anymore. 
Christian, are, are you saying that you want us to try again? Look, I... I know this is the last thing you expected. I mean, we've been just friends for a long time. But you know that, that thing you said before about not having to work at being happy? You're right. And that's how it used to be for us. And I knew that if I didn't come here and at least talk to you about it, I'd regret it. Maybe you think I should be regretting it right No, now. no, no, Christian. I'm happy that you can be honest with me. Yeah, maybe too much time has gone by. Lots happened. And we've both been in other relationships, been married to other people. Well, it worked for Kelly and Joey. That's right. They got back together. After a lot of time and a lot of relationships, you know, the spark was still there for them. Well, maybe it's still there for us, too. I've done some horrible things in my life, but it sounds like the real Aubrey could give me a run for my money. At least you're trying to mend your ways. I don't think the real Aubrey went to it ever will. Well, after hearing your sad story, I'm glad I'm done with that life. Even if I am keeping the name. You'll still be Christine underneath. It might take a while to remember who that is. You know what they say, you can take the girl out of the country, but, but you can't take the country out of the girl. It's true. Changing your name won't change who you are inside. Not my what hair! The how are you thinking? Where do you get off scamming my husband like that? He wasn't your husband at the time. Besides, it was his kid. Clint's the one who found out anyways. Yeah, duh. He's a genius. He should have strung you up by your... Watch it. From now on, you stay away from him. You understand me? Why, so you can work your magic? You know he's broke, right? I know, but the Buchanan name still counts around here. What's the plan, Cam? That's for me to know and you not to screw up. So it's all about you now, is it? No, Cutter. Actually, my happiness is not the only thing at stake here. So who else's happiness are we talking about? Sweetheart, thank you. Uh, I, um... Uh, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I did. Um, I feel like if I don't keep moving, I'll lose it. Yeah, I get that. Sometimes the only way to stay sane is to act a little crazy. Estrella. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to go to the police station, okay? See how the investigation's going? I, I didn't want to leave you here, but now that now that Star's here. No, you can't go. Okay. I want to know what's going on too. Yeah, so do I. Alright. I love you. We love you. I love you so much. Okay. So uh... How are you? I don't think that I really believe it yet. Yeah, me neither. But there is something that I know, and I want you to know it too. I loved him. I truly did, Danny, even when I found out that he wasn't our dad. And I know that it is different for you and Jack because... Danny, Jack called me a traitor. And he said that I'm not a sister anymore, so I just want to know from you. Am I still your sister? I have your gun. When I finally stopped walking, I was at the docks. Louis was there. Louis, so? Well, I was going to throw the gun into the water, but Louis said that he wanted it because of some cash for guns program that you guys are running. So I. I figured the guy fished me out of the water. It's the least I could do. So you gave Louie the gun? Yeah, I gave Louie the gun. It's in your lost and found or wherever you keep these things. It's registered to Dorian Lawrence. Go see for yourself. The gun has never been fired. You know what? I'm gonna go 
check that out. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? I'm not waiting around to hear if they've captured my father's Just killer. Just get back in here. You're not supposed to be up on your feet. Much less going out to play detective. I have to. Don't you get that? I have to do this for Dad. Because if I don't, no one else... Why is everybody yelling about Dad? I hope you're right. I hope I can get back in touch with the old me. Of course you can. I lost my way for a while, and now I'm back. Back where I belong. Oh my God. Sometimes I try to remember, but I don't know the day it happened. When I stopped believing in love and started believing in money. Like the real love we went with? Did she ever do it? Did she ever get the surgery, you know, do her nose and chin and everything else? I often wonder. I wonder if that ugly duckling learned to live with what she had, or... Did she use my money to turn into the swan? Admit it, you found a new partner. Who's helping you run the con? Nobody. It's not like that. So what is it like? Can I trust you? We're brother and sister. Like you said, we've already got one secret we're taking to the grave. What's another one? Oh, it would be nice to have someone to talk to. About what? About this. Just because the spark was still there for Kelly and Joey doesn't mean it's going to be the same for us. Maybe. But don't you think it's worth finding out? How do we do that? Well, it's only one way I can think of. If that's all right with you. What do you mean? Can I? See, that didn't take too long. I'll catch you later. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Why not? Now that you've seen the gun? Look, there's been no gun turned in. Not by Louie or anyone else. Not possible. Louie swore to me he was going to give it to only you. I'll go down to the docks. Hey, I'll talk uh, to him myself. Uh, what? I'm going to do that, all right? You're going to wait here. I'm going to find Louie. We're going to have a little chat. And if your story checks out, great. You're out of here. If it doesn't, you might want to have someone call and bring you down a clean pair of underwear, because you may be here for a while. Now, if you need anything... Bert's right here, all right? You want a sandwich or something? You let him know. Other than that, he'll be posted at the door. Relax. You're right. It's different for me. My real father is someone that I never knew. And the man that I thought was my father... He's... He's gone. And I know how much you loved him, Danny. I did. I did. I didn't mean to. I, I spent so much time fighting that. I spent so much time hating him. He didn't give up. He never stopped trying to be my dad. He, he never stopped loving me. And one day, I loved him back, and you helped me do that, Star. Me? Yeah, I mean, you, you helped me see the, the good in him. You helped me love him, and I'm so glad that you did. <laughs> you have all these memories that I don't have. You remember a Todd Manning that, that I don't. It makes sense that you're close to him. <sighs> Thank you so much for understanding that. It doesn't matter which man that we feel closer to, okay? We're still sisters, me and you, and we always will be. Good. 
because I really need my sister right now. <laughs> What, buddy? Why don't you go back upstairs and I'll be up there in a minute and we can talk, okay? What are you waiting for? Just tell him the truth. Hey, hey. Dad is dead. Your friend Scarface killed him. I was told Todd Manning's inside. Yes, ma'am. I need to see him. Sorry. Lieutenant McBain gave specific instructions. No one is to see Todd Manning except his lawyer. Well, that works out nicely, because that would be me. 